Hey folks, William here with Leave Reality Behind Adventures. We're heading to Pop Century and Art of Animation today. We're at Art of Animation right now, turning into the main drive. Um, up to where you have guest drop off and bag drop off. Of course, this is if you're coming from the airport, this is where the uh, Disney's Magical Express will drop you off to. When we come through here, there was not a lot going on. A uh, bus had just dropped a bunch of people off. And this is where folks get dropped off for taxis, things of that sort too. We're headed around through the front. This is Animation Hall. That's where we're coming around the front of the resort. Now this is where the buses will pick you up and drop you off to go to each one of the parks. Disney Springs, Blizzard Beach, Typhoon Lagoon, um, etc. Uh, Animal Kingdom, Magic Kingdom, Epcot, and Hollywood Studios. Uh, very simple, very easy way to get around, and very efficient also. On the back side of the resort, you do have the uh, Skyliner, so that's a plus. Uh, definitely, especially if you're staying here. This is Lion King building number 10 on the back side as we could loop around in the car. Um, a lot of the buildings are interior inside so you have to park in these parking lots and take your luggage over to those buildings still not a bad hike it's pretty easy and um, pretty simple to get to it's a nice little drive around here the one thing about the pop century and of course you're heading up on Little Mermaid building number nine now. Uh, Pop Century and Art of Animation used to be one large resort. Uh, back in the recession, early 2000s, um, what had happened was they were building the resort and halted it. So Pop Century side had already been built and they had just started on the side to where Art of Animation is now across from our lake, our, our Glass Lake, which is the lake in between both resorts. So it was going to be Pop Century, the early years, the, you know, certain decades versus another decades, other decades. But what happened was they had halted the um, construction. Well, when they started back up, they decided to do another resort and gear it in a different manner so you have the art of animation which is mainly all suites except for what we're coming up on now little mermaid building eight back in this area these were already built so they kept that structure and kept that style of room like you would have over at the uh, pop century so that's why the little mermaid is the only rooms that are uh, two uh, basically queen beds and one bath at the Art of Animation because those buildings were already built and uh, were kind of finished almost so um, that's kind of where that is. Our Glass Lake of course separates the two resorts uh, from Pop Century and Art of Animation. Um, we stayed at Pop Century not too long ago and uh, it takes you about five minutes to walk from one side to the other. Um, really simple to get around the one thing about the road that runs around is it connects both resorts so if you're staying at one resort versus the other you can move around freely from one resort to the other and uh, venture off into their food court um, and capitalize on some of their amenities that they have also really a nice little trip around very simple now we've went back to animation hall back out on the other side and just moving back around to give you a little bit better look um, this is going to be cars building number one and as i was saying these are the suites so you enter the room from the inside of the building versus entering the room from the outside of the building when you get back to the Little Mermaid. The suites here, they are basically uh, sleep six. Cars building number two. And 
And you're back on the back side of the Hourglass Lake again. It's about 5 o'clock in the afternoon when we were going back through here. Sun was starting to go down just a little as we started heading into Pop Century. And as you could tell by the car levels, Pop Century had a lot more guests than Art of Animation. And that just basically comes down to right now, I would assume the cost of rooms and the uh, size of the groups that are uh, venturing out on vacation at this point in time. And as we pull up to the front of Pop Century, we're just going to be going to the loop of the drop-off. As we come through, there was a bus unloading, so we got through there very quickly. You got Classic Hall here. And as you look at the front of the building, it resembles the front of the building over at Art of Animation almost to a T, as you can tell. Uh, of course, the decor is a little bit different because of the um, theming, but if you look at it, it is pretty much the exact same um, setup for the main building and check-in. And of course, this is the area where you're going to um, catch the bus to each of the theme parks, the water parks, and Disney Springs. So you're heading around to the 70s building. We actually stayed in this one not too long ago. Uh, we were here at Halloween. I uh, had a really good time. And then we switched over to Art of Animation on November 1st. Just to uh, be one of the first people to stay there once they uh, opened again this year. Or last year that was. But as you can see, all the buildings in Pop Century, of course, are very easily accessible. And the theming is really neat. Pop icons from each one of the decades, from the 50s all the way up to the 90s. Stayed here now about five or six times. Um, Always a good time. Always. I love the big cell phone. It looks like the Nokia uh, cell phones, so kind of neat. And looping right on back. That's about it. The um, rod doesn't take long and it's very simple to get from one side to the other and if you're on the interior of the resorts it takes you three or four minutes walking across the bridge which I've got another video on that which I will uh, touch on for you just to give you a chance to see it we really appreciate it and uh, we'll be talking to you soon take care